All rich people have earned money through bad things. And welcome to Let's Ask Shogo. You might have been surprised by the title, but it is a fact. You will be seen as a bad or evil person who did something terrible if you are a person with money in Japan. But most people with money have put a lot of effort into their work to achieve what they have now. And in most cases, the purpose is for the good of the world and people. And the rich are the ones who are paying most of the taxes in Japan, too. Why do Japanese people hate and attack the rich, even when they are most supported by them? Today, I will explain about how rich people are seen in Japan and why Japan came to be like this. This is especially recommended to those who are willing to work or study in Japan and are planning to interfere with Japanese people. At the end of this video, I have some advice on what to be careful about with communication with Japanese people. First, let me talk about how people with money are seen in Japan. One of the most familiar examples are the characters in Japanese movies, drama, and anime. You might have noticed this. That the rich people in these subcultures are all usually fat, ugly, stupid, use people like tools, and laugh like crap. A typical stereotype character would be Corneo from Final Fantasy VII. And the heroes are those who give away all their money to the poor, and live simply, and fight with these evil rich. It's very funny if you take a look at Iron Man or Batman. In American subculture, you can understand that these heroes fight for justice, but are also rich and run a company at the same time. This is the kind of person that everyone wants to be. But in Japan, it's completely the opposite. Most Japanese believe that the rich are those who earn their money by doing something against the will of others, or money earned in the hope that only you will be happy. Let me give you a real life example. There is a super famous artist and actor called Gakuto in Japan. He is like Justin Timberlake. You may not know all of his songs, but everyone sure knows his name. In 2011, when the Great East Japan earthquake happened, he himself stood on the streets to collect donations and carried out tasks such as loading trucks. To send relief supplies like food and water to the affected areas. As you may remember, the damage done by this earthquake was enormous, with about 15,000 dead. And there were millions of people in the need of help in order to survive, without shelter nor food. In the end, due to all of his and his members' effort, he was able to donate. 200 million yen to the suffering people. What do you think about this story? Isn't it great that such a celebrity took the lead and actually helped so much? But no, the Japanese people didn't take it that way. In a time of emergency in 2011, the media covered this activity of Gakuto that he gathered money using his fame to use for himself. That this Was all an embezzlement. Later on, it was proven that this was a complete lie. Then, can you imagine what happened next? People started to say that his actions are hypocritical, and he did everything for the sake of selling himself out. Yes, I needed to pick up my drop jaw too. I couldn't believe my eyes and ears. But it is a sad fact that this is how Japan is, with its distorted views. And this is just one of the very few examples of good people being called a gizensha, which means a person with fake justice. Next, I will talk about the reasons why Japan came to be like this. There are three widely believed theories. Number one, the social system in the Edo period. Number two, the law 
during the Great Wars. Number three, the education system today. Number one, the social system in the Edo period. The Edo period lasted from 1603 to 1868 for 265 years. The last era in Japanese history that the samurais existed. The amazing part about this era was that during the two centuries, there weren't almost any wars. It is said that this is the longest period of peace in one country than any other place in the world. The long term of peace was realized due to multiple reasons, but one of the most important factors was. The strict rule of the Tokugawa family shogunate, the samurai government. The shogunate tried to keep the people poor to stop them from overthrowing the government and starting rebellions. They made a class system with the samurais on top, next the peasants, the craftsmen, and lastly the merchants. Can you guess why they kept the merchants on the bottom? It was because they had the most money. And it was to teach the people that the more money you had, the lower rank a person you are. In other words, the less money you had, the higher rank a person you are. So the samurais believed that they must be poor in order to be a noble warrior. And this was called honorable poverty. You can say that the idea of having money equals evil started from this time. Number two, the law during the Great Wars. After the end of the Edo period and the Tokugawa family's rule, the westernized Meiji government followed. Their goal to make a strong Western like country eventually leads to conflict with neighboring countries. And the Meiji government also affected the Japanese values of money. In 1938, during the Shino Japanese War with China, the government created the National Saving Promotion Bureau. And in 1941, the National Savings Union Law was enacted. It was established to force all Japanese people to save money for the government to use in order to continue wars. So the Meiji government succeeded in creating the idea of saving money equals justice and using money equals evil among the Japanese people. Number three, the education system today. Lastly, the education system today is also responsible for this problem, as it is pointed out as a problem in other countries too. Children do not learn anything about money in school. We don't learn how the bank and tax system works, how to invest and manage assets. But we are taught one thing though it is that we should save money. For the future. If you don't have any savings, you will definitely be in trouble in the future. I remember at school there was a creepy system where we had to write an allowance notebook about how much allowance that we have saved now. Every week, if we have more savings, we were given a good mark. If less, a bad mark on that week's page of the notebook. And the student who had the most amount of saved money was awarded every month. The reason why the government teaches children to save money in the banks is the same as the time of war in the Meiji era. They want to be able to use the money from the banks anytime they want. In order to control more money, they don't want the people to invest or manage their assets. Even today, my grandparents will worry about how much savings I have because I might be in trouble in the future or just in case. I always have to tell them I use my money wisely. Please don't worry. <laughs> Lastly, I have some advice for those coming to Japan. Keep in mind that Japanese people avoid topics about money, but you don't have to be too nervous. I am a student of Japanese tea ceremony. But in tea ceremony, we are taught that we must not talk about topics of money, politics, and religion. And this tradition applies to daily conversation today, too. Japanese people, even in my generation, prefer not to talk about how much money we earn, which political party we support, 
or what religion we believe in. You are going to be taking shots of cold looks if you start talking about these topics. It's like you're stepping into someone's bedroom with your boots on from when you walked in the rain. But then why do I say, but you don't have to be too nervous? It is because if it is something that you believe is correct, you should be confident to say it. It was the bravery of the people like Gakuto that saved many lives. I personally think that the characteristic of Japanese people I introduced today is something that must be revised. I hope that if there is something that you must state, you will not lose to the peer pressure in Japan. Then lastly, today's conclusion. In Japan, rich people are thought of as bad people who have earned their money against the will of others. Even if you donate money to charity, people will call you a hypocrite. Japanese people are like this because of three reasons. The social system of the Edo period, the laws during the wars of the Meiji era, and the education system today. The Japanese government has constantly taught the people to stay poor and save their money in order to have better control of them. For those of you who are going to study or work in Japan, please keep in mind that Japanese people avoid talking about money, politics, and religion. But stay brave to state your own opinions though. There are many Japanese people who have saved others with their bravery. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If this video helped you to deepen your understanding towards Japanese traditions and culture, please hit the like button and share this video to your friends and family. And my goal is to achieve 10,000 subscribers by July 2021, so your help would mean a lot. Thanks again, and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.